Tomorrow, Texas lawmakers will take steps to protect children here in the state. They'll try to figure out where to get money to make sure Child Protective Services have has enough caseworkers to help families. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. I'm Shannon Wolfson. New tonight, we are learning more about organizations that have to step up when the state does not offer enough. And KXAN's Phil Prazen spoke with one lawmaker who says the crisis is worse than many may realize. Well, that's right, and here's one number to know, 171. That's the number of children the state says died of neglect and abuse last year. And the real fear is there are more cases that go unreported. We've told you how the head of the Department of Family and Protective Services wants to have 550 new caseworkers and child investigators as soon as possible. But many worry without a bump in salary. The new hires will join hundreds of others who were on the job for less than a year before they quit. UT Austin hopes to prepare students for life in the workplace. And with more than a decade of social work experience, Monica Faulkner knows the challenges of watching over abused and neglected children. I was always prepared to make less than my friends in other professions, but I was willing to do it because I had that commitment towards the greater good. She runs the Texas Institute for Child and Family Wellbeing. It's a deal with students. They'll offer to pay for tuition and books if the student promises to work in the Department of Family and Protective Services for two years after college. You have to make it a place where they're appreciated, where they're valued, and where people want to work. Not only talk about the fact that we have a crisis, but that we actually do something about it. Austin Representative Donna Howard sent a letter to budget writers laying out a plan to raise the pay. Right now, a CPS caseworker makes around $35,000 a year. She wants to see that bumped up to 47 grand or more in the high caseload areas, an added cost to the state of around $60 million a year. You're telling potential recruits that we are going to take care of you, and you're telling the taxpayer that we're going to make sure we have sustainable frontline employees who are going to be working with these vulnerable children. The stakes, she says, too many caseworkers will quit before a year on the job. New social workers won't sign up and Texas children will fall through the cracks. And tomorrow we will be at that Senate finance hearing to find out more details on where this money could come from. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Every year, children die in Texas from abuse or neglect, and in some cases, the families already have a long history with CPS. We have been following the most recent incident since last week. We checked about an hour ago and learned no court date has been set for Stephen Cortez Jr. He was arrested on Friday. Police say he hurt his girlfriend's two-year-old daughter, and the injuries were so serious it caused her death. Cortez Jr. is charged with injury to a child, which carries the same punishment as murder. Child Protective Services had been called to that home just three weeks before the little girl's death. For months, we've been telling you about caseworkers and how they're given too many cases to manage. Right now, the average CPS employee is handling 19 cases a month. In Central Texas, that number is 17. The recommended number is 12. We first told you about the plan to hire 550 investigators and caseworkers last week. And to read more about the state's new plan for changes to the agency, Go to our website, kxan.com.